2022 will be exactly 100 years since Alfred Hitchcock first sat in the director's chair. He was just 23 when he directed a movie called Number 13, which was not particularly memorable, but as everyone knows, Hitchcock went on to have one of the biggest and most influential careers in cinema history. Blackmail holds a very special place in Hitchcock's output for a number of reasons. When it started production, it was a silent movie, but before it was finished, British International Pictures asked Hitchcock to remake it as a sound movie. Both versions still exist, so Blackmail was both Hitchcock's last silent movie and his first sound movie. It was also the biggest hit of 1929, but what I think makes Blackmail so special is that it was the first movie in which you can spot every one of the famous Hitchcock trademarks that everyone knows from his later movies. It has Czech actress Annie Ondra as the first in a long line of Hitchcock's beautiful blondes. There is a charming young man who happens to be an artist, who later turns out to be the most unbelievably creepy pervert. There's a gruesome murder, with a knife in fact, and in a great twist it's the beautiful blonde who's doing the murdering. There's a chase through a famous location, in this case the British Museum. There is the obligatory humorous cameo by Hitchcock himself as an irritated passenger on the underground. And if you really want to get into geeky details, there are even some shots taken up and down stairs that might remind you of a film called Vertigo. Hitchcock's later films inspired many of the great 20th century soundtracks, but Blackmail never had a proper soundtrack. Together with the Postland Ensemble, the James Well Orchestra are going to celebrate Hitchcock's directorial centenary by creating the kind of soundtrack that fits the true Hitchcock style. So here's a short taste of Blackmail. 